How's it going, everyone? Welcome back, OBP. Camera, camera colors are good. All right. Happy Sunday. Man, weekends are a pain. How's everyone doing? It's like spring cleaning times a thousand here. I'm playing a little low. No, we're good. We're good. I'm going to pop it up just a, a skosh. Oh, that sounds fun. Unplugging is very important. Hey, G Burst, how's it going? I saw that. Man, I want a VR headset. Now, I am blind in one eye, so I'll never get that full depth perception, but I want that full FOV thing going on. <laughs> Our vacations usually boil down to us uh, just winding up in like an antique shop <laughs> whenever we go somewhere. All right, load, end of stream. Hey, Ted, how's it going? Thank you, Net Running. I appreciate that. All right, we have Chemtrails Transfer Site, which I think is just uh, the hybrid farmland. And I we have a group en route to that. Yeah. And we just finished returning from... I forgot what mission that was. <laughs> yeah, or hybrid time. Just training time versus the hybrid. Anything else on the ground? I think we've done a chemtrails transfer. Oh, oh, awesome. All right, let's get that distributed. So we'll test this. We'll see if this is better than the uh, blaster. I am fairly convinced I'm going to keep using the blaster sniper on Stormtrooper unless they can pick up the Gauss. I think that's the way to do it. And 10. All right. We'll see how that works. We'll give it a go. All right. Now, this, uh, I mean, basically, this mod goes from uh, money, like, scraping by by the skin of your teeth, and then two months later, you have money that you could never spend, ever. All right, the only one that can't react is you. Uh, what's your aim shot? It's 54 snap. I can take that 54. Any good grouping? Oh, there's a good snap. Higher. 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 There we go. Mike right here would be great. Ah, oh, he's on fire. Oh, thank you, Dedicated Lurking. <laughs> That's a great name you got there. <laughs> uh, do we bring the dogs out? Let's, let's get rid of some TU before we bring the dogs out. Uh, you missed it, OBP, but we completely finished Dimension X in the last stream. Or maybe it was two streams ago. It's 140... <laughs> it said 140 dead, but I don't think it was that many. Uh, training finished is for a follow. Subs are... Uh, I haven't had a sub for a while. Here's a sub. Yeah, they'll be in uh, this week's uh, YouTubes. Yeah, well, the dogs died. We lost two dogs. No, we only lost one actual soldier. It actually wound up really well. Oh, yeah, we have roof access. I forget about that. Uh, see, we have roof access. At the same time, we also everyone can fly now for the most part, so it's not as valuable as it was in Pirates. Oh, God. Yeah, I wish. I really wish we could have upgrade our dogs. I, I really do want a Tier 2 dog with that we can just bring with us in more places, basically. Yeah, we're getting... We are getting bats. Is 
Excuse me. Drinking beer on stream is just such a bad idea. And by that I mean uh, carbonated anything. I get hiccups. There is uh, no one worth capturing on this. I know that for sure. I think we've done everything we can to progress uh, our hybrid arc. They just need to actually trigger for us. <laughs> I don't know if I'd give the dog anything arranged. I think I would just give them more stats and honestly let them go in more places, right? Like number one, give them access to bad environments. And then after that, I would really just give them just more survivability. They don't really need anything else. Why can't I go this way? I guess it's just back, blocked off. You know, sort of give them better base armor or just give them access to a better armor. And uh, give them self-healing like Reapers. Basically just make them like the ex-pirates Reapers. Those weren't overpowered in any way. They were fun to use. All right, let's let you do one more shot. Can you just make this aim shot over here? That works. Mr. Placeholder is going to get his accuracy training up today. Anything? I'm getting a little audio feedback. <laughs> you know, you can do that just by making it, giving them... Oh, oh. all right, so... G-Burst, your idea is phenomenal because what you do is you just give them the ability to light things on fire with their P, like a nice times five incendiary shot, short range. It would actually it would make it times eight, make it replace the standard flamethrower. But don't give it arcing damage so that you can control shift it. So yeah, don't let it arc. Just have it a normal short range <laughs> non-arcing weapon. And you can spray and pray. Literally spray and pray. Oh my god, I have to make that. Hold on, I'm going to put that in my notes. That should be really easy to make, too. <laughs> Control. There you go. XEF to do. Super incendiary dog pee. I need sprites. <laughs> I need sprites for that. <laughs> I need a big ob. I can do everything but the sprite. Yeah. We'll make it super short range and everything too. Ten tiles. Times eight. Standard incendiary damage. But because it's not arcing, we can control shift it. <laughs> and also the downside of the dog lighting itself on fire with its own piss. Which is very important. Alright. Nothing worth keeping. <laughs> we'll just replace its, uh, I guess it's bark. Crocodet. I like the bark a lot, too. But we'll see what we got. All right, Stingray missiles. Oh, an alien terror. Yeah, let's shoot you down. Let's get you over the desert. Or maybe over that. Oh. 
Oh yeah, you could do two PSI abilities. I mean, it's area deniability in a different way, so it could be argued that you could do either. Well, I'm glad you could make it, Airhawk. I really am. All right, let's try the... Is that a large scout or a medium scout? Large scout. Let's try the new Gauss snipers. How are we doing by kills? Oh, we're getting up there. We're still not even close to Max Payne. That, so, uh, if Firestorm shows up and he wants to know where Max Payne is, say Max Payne has 154 kills, so he is still on vacation for a while. We are. We are in the final stretch. Right now, all we really need to do is um, to Leth. And so I'm just going to do, like, small UFOs and then to Leth, and then that's it. I'm going to test out our new stuff, too. Uh, those are garbage. Uh, let's try a plasma sniper rifle also on stormtrooper armor as well, just to see if it's worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arok. I do not have a choice when I stream, unfortunately. This will also be the last test for the uh, for the plasma sniper rifle. I think I'm still fairly convinced it's useless. Blue team, right? Blue team. But I don't think there is. All right, so. The downside of this craft is we can see it right here. Pistol, 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 rifle, rifle, rifle. So we have to trigger you guys. At the tanks. The total downside of this craft Get all the reaction fire we can. Another rifle and a sniper. I'm not worried about the sniper rifle at all because it's garbage. All right, here's the Gauss. Gauss has, of course, real range, so we can always hit that. We can snap not very well, actually. Not a very good snap. Versus you, who can do. Uh, well, okay. So you're not the you're not fully maxed out, and the sniper rifle is here. Eight shots. And your max firing range is is decent. It's decent with this armor but is it better than using the blaster sniper I don't think so or the gauss sniper for that matter and does the gauss sniper have a real 110 no it doesn't have a real kneeling bonus either It is hard to beat the utility of this. I can do three snaps if I don't move across the map. Two snaps if I do. At great accuracy and great damage. So I'm thinking... I'm still trying to figure out which... Yeah, slightly more. I mean, I don't think lasers will... It had the, the plasma has the ability of, of course, lighting things on fire. Now that is its big ability right now. It does pre-armor damage as well, and better wounding. But it has such horrible range. And I'm trying to find a way to use it effectively. Otherwise, it's very wasteful. We've had the best luck so far with the plasma sub-rifle, or just a plain old plasma rifle. And the plasma... Shotgun makes a nice 
a quick draw weapon. A very nice backup weapon. And unfortunately, looks like we are not getting any engine or Illyrium out of this. Right, let's see how you do. Just reacting. How many how many reactions you got? Seventy three with this armor. It's fantastic. They are. We bring them along because we love them. They do have a lot of reactions. They just can't really get anywhere. <laughs> they don't have enough. They're still nice walking. Uh, walking motion sensors. Just a little bit more tanky. Being able to fly would really make them move around better. Or giving them armor that lets them sprint all the time. So they do fall, okay, so they fall squarely in between uh, the Gauss and a Blaster Snipers damage-wise. They have horrible range. They and only have eight shots, so I just don't, I can't think of a reason to use them. A, do a synth a synth suit for the dogs that's an option now, wherever this last guy is he's not moving You know, the ability to pet a dog and lower someone's uh, morale damage, while completely useless, would be completely in character. Completely useless. <laughs> hey, Izard, how's it going? What are you doing, man? I think Gauss Snipers might be the de facto Gauss weapon we bring for when we need that heavy piercing damage, which I don't think we need all that much, to be honest. I mean, dogs only have the one rank, so killing them isn't that bad. Can I do two on you? Let's not risk that reaction fire. There we go. All right. Nothing useful out of that. We can start selling the rifles. We'll keep the clips for keep the clip for Illyrium. Is that a per unit thing? I thought it was a per rank thing. I mean, that would be great, except for the fact that you can't keep dogs alive. <laughs> it really gave them to save your life. Croc Raid. Our Croc prisoner reported that his squad participated in attacks on remote human settlements. Apparently, the only objective of these raids is to familiarize their troops with human targets on the surface. 
uh, on the surface environment. Horrible as it is, we suspect that such training would be best applied in forces tasked with human population control. This could be needed, for example, if the reptoids were to succeed in turning all of humanity into a slave race. Is that ever... I don't... Okay, I'm, I'm really not following the reptoid storyline. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get the destroyer done. I mean, more reason, but you just can't. <laughs> Everything kills dogs. Oh, Delta's back. Go to base. Citadel. I will throw you on there. I have one available. Is someone... Oh, I guess we have you coming in. And uh, turn you back on. All right, new Delta. Uh, pretty average all around. Look at the training you have accomplished on your melee. You started with 21 melee accuracy. It's impressively bad. <laughs> Impressive in its horribleness. Very good, Delta Epsilon. You're really good. You're really good. Although... Uh, when you finish Dimension X, as we just did, it's hinted that the uh, Council has access to many more dimensions, and the one that you found isn't all that interesting. The story is trying to tell you that the Council is really powerful. It's never pr it's never shown within the game. Uh, right now, Ian, our goal is just to do Tolaf missions. That's basically it. Plasma Destroyer. Very nice. We might use those. They, like, replace our rocket launcher, right, with small rockets. Let's finish our, our aliens. Alright, Toki and Kate Archer are back in the Devil's Den. Titanga and Sky Eye. Titanga? And s Devil's Den. All right, the new Kate is back. Uh, pretty good. Almost, I mean, almost done training. I think you might almost, almost maxed out training there. Very weak, but your skill is sixty, so that puts you at f almost. What is that? F almost fifty defensive strength. I like it. And this is the only base, I think, without a whole slew of maxed out guys. We'll let Blix finish off. He should be next. All right, we have the HWP Gauss at the Citadel available now. For trials. Healing research. We're going to shoot these down. I'm not going to actually do them. Or do we need Illyrium? We might just do them for the Illyrium. If we have a uh, Illyrium, uh, we need a thousand Illyrium for me to be comfortable, so we'll let that one land. And sent always in Central Asia. I wonder why that is. There has to be a story reason for that. Why do those only spawn there? All right. Low kills. We'll only bring four X's though. Oh, look at that! All the X's. One, two, three. Oh, you know why you have low kills? There's a reason for that. Four. We'll bring uh, a tank and then I sword air hawk. Oh, this works out perfectly. Ian, no dogs. Aziz, Mad Lab. One, two, three. Bill, Delta, and Elmar. I think that'll be enough, right? <laughs> I just don't want to deal with all of them. Armor. Hover Gauss. Power suit. Power suit. Not the armor. Disaster, you get a flying suit. 
Flying, flying. Alright, that'll work. Grab those. Someone can have that. Sure, sure, sure. Garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage. Oh, no, that's not garbage. We'll give that to uh, a power suit guy with decent aim. We gave up on the incinerators. <laughs> totally gave up on those. All right. I do need to go through and clean these out. Did you get my message? I just replied to that in Discord. I think the uh, aim should be arcing. Because I'd use that almost all the time over the uh, straight one. Give me your Illyrium. Mass driver defenses. Rapid firing mass driver defenses provide some protection against any landing craft. Yeah, it's just the. Never worth it, man. Never worth it until you can guarantee a kill. Oh, that's a good. Oh, hey, Ian, congratulations. You finished training while in the craft. <laughs> and Hank is done. Very nice. Yeah, question, does it have a different damage roll? I didn't even look at that. Uh, 10 at night, really? For a tank? No, it, it doesn't even have armor piercing. Just absolute garbage. You. Mad lad. Why do they only have 10 visibility at night? I mean, that's what the auto cannon should be. No questions asked. Oh, I can't hyper access on this one. Oh, oh, yes, I do like that idea very much. Did you hit someone in the back of the head? <laughs> you beat someone with the uh, with the flare. There we go. And now we can see things. Good Mad Lab. Halisa. It gets into the... We can't move and fire our tank at the same time. And it doesn't have the accuracy to make me want to really use it. Tank should not be inaccurate. The Sectoids have always used real guns. made them scary before we got lasers we could take them down in one shot that's not a real gun oh hey come here are you in range airhawk airhawk has been one of our our good psi guys that might be just in range we'll try it I can't go there. I don't think it'll be in range. Oh, just barely. I I like that idea. I 
Shoot at that guy. Shoot at the traitor in your midst. Yeah, I mean, if you only have... The key at that point, if that's all you have, is to use melee versus the sectoids. The purple shields, I think, are weak. I think both shields are weak or not resistant to melee at all. Uh, yeah, they take extra cutting damage. And they have no resistance to electric damage. One thing I, I liked, uh, one of the nice balanced decisions I liked in Xenonauts was the pistols and the rifles did the same amount of damage. So the difference was uh, range, basically, between the two. Rifles inside had a penalty, I think. And pistols were, of course, one-handed. Oh, yeah. Purple shields versus lasers are the way to go. Actually, lasers versus any shield is the way to go if you don't have plasma. That's why we pretty much went full-on laser when we got them we were facing sectoids all the damn time. I just need to get you done, and you're like the last... It's not 25 tiles? There we go. So, fun fact, when you mind control a sectoid, anything they did before you mind control them does not affect them. They have full time units and reactions. Fun fact. I didn't know that either. But I know that guy reacted to us. 100% positive on that. Alright, at least we have a 101 accuracy shot. I can still roll a zero. Scorch does not believe in arbitrary uh, damage types. Minor training at this point. 50 Illyrium. Very good. Yeah. I mean, I've made that argument before. I don't think... I can, I can make an argument that... Rifles... I don't care if you're being hit by a rifle that shoots things at the speed of light. I can I can understand the argument that rifles can um, ricochet, can ping off, but my argument is that anything that's classified as a heavy weapon, a cannon, should have uh, a minimum damage. Cannon should not be able to roll zero. One excavator. Yeah, alien research. So we need to do 100 more Illyrium and we're done. So let's send out pink team. All right, let's swap out Yuri. Now we'll pick Anzerk. We got Beep, Boop, Happy Hippo, Toothless Shark, Sparky. No, no dogs for sectoids. How many X's do I got? One. <laughs> we got Blix. Two. I'll grab one more X. LaForge. One. Two. Three. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Show me your strength. That's a flying suit for LaForge. Stormtrooper is on my... Eh, why not? <laughs> you guys are maxed out stats anyway. Uh, show me your reactions. Anzirk, you can have a Stormtrooper. Oh, never mind. You cannot. 
I should make more of those. How many more of those can I make? Stormtrooper. And uh, I guess lowest reaction to get Stormtrooper for training. For training purposes. I can make da, 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 a lot more. All right, let's make some grab modules. <laughs> let's use this Illyrium. Let's make another set of nine. Oops. It's going to be very expensive. All right, pink team. Sectoid medic. We learned about cerebral larva. This creature is almost entirely composed of brain tissue encased in a hovering capsule. This capsule is quite resilient to damage, especially bullets and laser beams. It also features a plasma weapon, which is similar to, in profile to the plasma rifle. Now, we haven't seen them, but this is mean because it says especially bullets, but they have gold shields, which are entirely resistant to bullets. <laughs> so don't, don't bring bullets versus cerebrals. Get all the medics done. Small convoy detect. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just reaction training, right? Hey, yeah, and our <laughs> our start on pirates was really bad too. But that that's a different story entirely. <laughs> that was me uh, risking one turn and losing it all. After this, I think we're just going to shoot things down and sort of ignore them. Tend to have thermal vision. All right. Uh, do we risk turn one? No, we don't. Nice start, though. Can I? Oh, no, that's not inside. I can see on top. Like, can I see inside that ship? No, that is just on the roof. Hmm. Should probably do two versus you. Oh, look at you. Well, that means I can do this. Oh, you don't have any grenades. Mental note put grenades in all my things. I gotta redo all of those. All right, not worried about you. One. Two. Not too worried about you. But I, you're more dangerous than the other one. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Not accurate enough. is a good spot. All right, so still dangerous versus stormtrooper armor. We got to keep that in mind. You cannot ignore the lethality or the lack of resistance on these guys. One, two, three. You're not dangerous at all. There we go. And while we're at it, oh. I think the Staff of Heart Grip is one of the best weapons because you get it so early in the game and you can't use it effectively for so long. It has that best, <laughs> that sort of best time to use. You just stare at the weapon like, God, I can't wait. the beach I, I literally had to explain beach episodes to my wife <laughs> a couple days ago I even forget what we were oh I forgot what we were watching 
Did you shoot down? Oh no, you are on that level, never mind. <laughs> that man Zam. That is not cool. Well, who's getting a vacation? North Storm's getting a vacation. And Anzark's getting bravery training. Six <laughs> Max <laughs> shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I think you only yeah you only get it from like one mission in Church of Dagon too if I remember correctly one or two missions so it is relatively rare all around a laser beam in your head but the good thing about six wounds is he's going to come back with a good amount of hit points Care of this guy for our buddy. There was talk about that, about being able to demote. Uh, it, back when pirates introduced the ranks and the additional fees, because some people were going broke, because all of a sudden, like the fees went up in an insane amount. Like a corporal cost like a million or two a month just to have. Yeah. I think it was removed eventually. Are you mind controlled? You're mind controlled. Yeah. I remember, I, I definitely remember it being talked about. No, it wasn't buggy. It was just more along the line. It got to the point where it sort of got rid of the whole point of of having them in the first place. It was more of a mod problem with the modders not balancing it well. Because when you boil it down, I mean, you want to demote a soldier, you just kill him. It's <laughs> just much easier all around. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say, if you value your soldiers' lives, I think you're playing XCOM wrong. Oh, Nordstrom's alive. Yeah, so you got hit points left. There we go. All right, so you, you'll be in there for about a month. Got a stim while you're at it. Better than dying. Hello, friend. There might be guys over here. Ability. Wah wah. Sorry to hear that.
I've been playing uh, 2016 Hitman in my free time lately. Going for the trophies. I enjoy that game enough, although it, it does have some of the it, silly and yet required things in stealth games. Like, I, I can kill 45 people, <laughs> pile up their bodies, and I just wait long enough, everyone just forgets that bad things have happened. Like, oh, guess what's nothing? Oh, how's that going? Oh, there's your stuff. I haven't uh, gotten Sekiro yet. That's in my list, but I fear Sekiro might be too hard for me. I might be too old to play Sekiro. Because <laughs> when I when I play Dark Souls, I'll admit I just uh, I just grind my way through any challenge. Uh, only one engine on an excavator? That's very sad. Oh, man. I am 100% going to play that once it's out of early access. I loved Risk of Rain. I unlocked all the characters. I didn't unlock all the challenges. But I played the heck out of that game. I just do not buy early access anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, no. Sorry. Xenonauts was one of the last because of the genre, and I support this genre more than anything else. Man, I mean, if it goes to, goes to Epic. <laughs> that will just reinforce my idea to never pre-order any game ever again. Can you see that far? If you just move over, where are you? Just like over here? How about that? Oh, so close. I'll play Phoenix Point in a year, maybe. Based on reviews at this point, before it would have been a day one purchase. I mean, the last game I pre-ordered or crowdfunded, again, aside from Xenon, outside of this genre, which we are playing right now, was um, Star Citizen. Just a small one, and then they actually lost my uh, pre-order. It wasn't a big one. It was like 20 bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you indie developers. I'm done. I'm too old. There are so many games out there. Not interested. I'll say it again. We brought this up in the last time we talked about this. I don't know why the epic, um, why the epic buying out games bothers me so much. Because, as Jim Sterling said, if someone came uh, came to YouTube and offered a platform that wasn't even as good as YouTube but started buying away YouTube creators, I would hop over in a second. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Here's the last guy. Come on. Anyone inside? peek through that window. Just sitting in your farm, you're bailing some hay at the top level of your farmhouse, and all of a sudden you see someone staring through the window. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, but a lot of people think that Steam is a pile of shit. And I mean, honestly, if you're a developer, I 100% understand the reason to leave Steam because you're not going to get found on Steam unless you're lucky. Steam's greenlight program uh, went the wrong way when they changed that. Greenlight had problems, but the, what they have now is way worse. I, I understand that argument. I understand that argument. I don't believe it. Uh, just as a small business owner myself who makes quality things. Quality has nothing to do with people will buy your shit. There you are. You're just hanging out there, buddy. It's, it is. It is a lot of luck. It's a lot of luck and eyeballs. All about eyeballs. That's why, I mean, that's why companies spend more on marketing than they sometimes they do on the game itself because that's how important marketing is and how BS marketing is. We're running an experiment in our house. We have no no in-house advertising for anything. No commercials, you know, outside of even radio because, no, even our radio is ad-free. So my kids are going to grow up in a house without being bombarded by commercials every 15 minutes of their life. So I'm interested to see how that works. And we have to explain. I mean, I, I literally had to explain what advertising was to my, my daughter the other day. And I, I think she gets it, but she's also four. So, you know, <laughs> four-year-olds don't know anything. Let's remove this door because you're just blocking everything. I'm not anti-Valve. I, I am not licking any corporations of boots either. I'm just saying that they have opened up their market and it's bad for developers. Alright. 50 Illyrium, not as much as I wanted. She might. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we talk about it a lot. She still wants things for no reason, I expect because she's in uh, preschool now. So, I mean, her friends will have something, and she'll come home, and she talked about Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee Transformers. I'm like, how do you know about that? It's all school stuff. All right, we're not going to do that. Medium scouts are too small. Let's just slow down all this stuff. Oh, we can't shoot things down over the water. I think that's still broken on my end. We'll see if it's water in the thunderstorm. This might be with my crating bug, or my crating mod, but I don't understand how that would do that because it only changes the build cost. I might be missing a language file, which is also a possibility. That's fine. We won't use you. Torment. Plasma Destroyer is done, so... I mean, it does plasma damage. Full damage. <laughs> this might replace our small rockets. <laughs> I mean, I still remember using uh, QEMM, Quarterback Expanded memory manager i mean so it does five damage well zero to ten damage to armor so it's nice for taking down armor and it's explosive and my son's awake so we'll see how much longer we can go i know my wife wants to go out today 
So he might be kicked out. Alright, so Stormtrooper armor takes 4 plus 10 Illyrium. takes 14 Illyrium per armor. And I have exactly enough to make 9, so that's good. No, no, it's pre-armor, so no matter what goes through the armor, that it'll always do the 10 armor damage, even if it blocks 100%. And then it'll do 10% damage per uh, the other way once you do HP damage. Armor damage is 10% HP damage as well. So it's significant. It's not like the, uh, <laughs> not like the old minigun, which did, uh, was it like 50% pre-armor damage? Back in the day, when we used a minigun all the time. <laughs> oh, the good old days. A batch programming was an art. All right, excellent. So we have seven Stormtrooper armors per base, and I think that's good enough for now. We can make six more if we wanted to. But it's the most expensive armor that we can make. Now oh, I remember. God, oh, guns are so great. They're still good. <laughs> They're still good. And the uh, blaster is, is a wonderful weapon. Croc Autopsy. The humanoid reptilian has thick scales and well-developed muscles. Its tissues, excuse me, seem highly resistant to heat, which suggests that they are best suited for a much hotter environment than present Earth. The genetic structure looks perfectly terrestrial, though. Two dogs finish training. Uh, okay, so the row with these is we go in and we look. And if they are not reptoids, then we leave, or something we haven't seen before. If they are Ant-Men, we leave, because Ant-Men are useless. Eddie, nope, Quick Mind, Nakmashna, Marvin, Isord, Airhawk, Ian, Aziz, and Zestimer. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are looking for heavy gauss. And then we are leaving. I got a little bit into my, uh, uh, what was I playing? I was playing, uh, oh, look, Stone we had a good starting position. One we don't need to, <laughs> we don't need to get out of. One we can camp. We can camp wonderfully. So wait a couple turns since I don't really want to move very far. I don't... I think Reptoids can spawn with uh, Heavy Gauss. I think. If not, then it's only Crocs, because that's where we got the Gauss Sniper was from the Croc mission. It is. It's uh, So it's, it's the power suit, but it has piercing and concussive resistance versus plasma and laser. So better versus Gauss weapons is basically it. They're nice. You can buy them. They cost like 75000 per month, but it's just not that big of a deal anymore, obviously. Here, I'll show you the resistances. Well, not on you, because you don't have an armor. You do not have an armor. Here we go. You do. So there you go. It has kinetic, concussive resistance, 100 
front and side. Takes extra from plasma. So bad versus aliens, good versus these guys. Come on, buddy. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> They're not coming any closer. Maybe we can drill a hole. Let's do that. There's a lot of them, apparently. Oh, is that what he did? He just blocked that off. Can you drill through that with your laser rifle? No. Nah, come on. I will drill a hole through this. I know. Scorch nerfed it. It's the problem of balancing games around streamers, man. <laughs> That's why you don't do it. Are those Ant-Man? They look like Ant-Man. Yeah, Ant-Man. All right, we can leave. Ant-Man are useless. We got another kill out of it, though. Thirty points. Woo! It 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 really is. It really is. The one I liked the best was Cluster Truck. I thought that had a good Twitch integration. Ultimate Radar Craft. Garbage. All right, here we go. A use of alien technology and ultralight titanium allowed us to develop an unmanned aircraft with previously unreachable uptime. The radar has been configured for better detection of UFOs. It has a beam, actually, and three electronic slots. Uh, and it has no crew capacity. <laughs> it would have actually been pretty cool with a little crew on it. But... Useless. Absolutely useless. And not only because uh, radar craft are useless with hunter killers in the game, but because by the time you get that, I mean, if you don't have full world coverage, you're just purposefully not building bases. You, <laughs> you don't care. But here's the deal. You can't balance a game to prevent uh, people who are bad at the game from being bad at the game. And that's, I think that's sort of the cardinal sin. Oh, can we, we could shoot down a battleship, right? We could totally shoot down a battleship. Tormentor. Tormentor, I know. It's the fastest way to do that, I think. And two Tormentors. I think two can do it. We'll do three. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Artificial difficulty, yeah. Wait. I sent you. I put the craft in you, and you still didn't go against that guy. We're going to splash you down. There you go. Three Tormentors versus the Battleship. Should be no problem. But we'll see. You're the one that we have to escape. No, oh, yeah, no problem. No problemo. I think I do it with two. Cubase. Uh, hold on. League no details, allowed outfits. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's a big old up. Let's see if we can go there and just abort. Or actually, you know what? How much? I, I really am done. 
with anything that is not progressing the story. Uh, what's my score? Whoops. Nope. Damn it. Graphs. There. Score. Uh, we're at 10,000. We could ignore it. Breezy is done. <laughs> There's the full name. Someone was asking yesterday. Celated, this life form has the mysterious natural ability to float through the air. It appears to detect human brainwaves and will move towards a human target even if well hidden. Once the target is detected, the celated lands and fires small globules of extremely corrosive venom. The creature has the ability to clone itself at an alarming rate. It accompanies a mutant race in its wanderings. T. <laughs> Effing. Celatids. If you'd like to know more about effing Celatids, please watch the Pirates LP. An alien terror. White fighter. Zone of the world. Alright, so, we're gonna keep track. The last time we saw a Teleth mission was in no early November. No, I think it was October, but let's say November was the last time we actually saw a Teleth mission that wasn't just the, um... That wasn't just the, uh, the guys flying around in the air. Hybrid Sword Philly. This is, uh, Land and Abort, is what this one is. It wouldn't. I don't know if it would speed things up, though. Yeah, you get your free. Be free. Little research alien. Call clean up a security breach. We've done this a million. We've done this at least twice. Do, 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 do. This is one where you don't turn or you die. <laughs> Yeah, I got some UAC nail guns. There you go. I mean, shit, we only got sectoids for six months straight. Mine, congratulations. Hover tank mass driver. This flying tank is armed with a light mass driver cannon that can instantly pierce through virtually any armor. Meh. With no armor, pre armor damage, or armor ign ignoring ability. Sectoid medic. Alright, we don't need that, I don't think. Do your thing. I'll shoot you down for the points, though. You can use a little bit more points since we're ignoring things. I mean, that should be the thing with Mass Driver, right? Because when you get Mass Drivers, they actually don't do too much more damage than your um, the Black Ops ammo. But they should totally have ignore some armor. Up circles. Oh, <laughs> they really want that supply ship going. It's all right. You can have that one. And you're flying away. Sectoid medic. 
This humanoid creature is physically powerful and intelligent. They have a particular appetite for consuming raw flesh of any kind, which they need for sustenance like Earth-based carnivores. They appear to rely on telepathic commands from a race... Sorry, my headphones are going out. From a race known as Ethereals. Once separated from this telepathic link, their mental system appears to break down and they die. Cybernetic implants are used to enhance their combat performance. They are clearly the foot soldiers for a higher intelligence. I have never seen you guys. They, I had them spawn once for me when I was testing things. I just run the clock when I was testing my uh, my uh, cloner and stuff. I had them spawn for, for me for one month, but in this in here, no. And we had one ship with ethereals. I'm going to shoot you down just so we don't take the point penalty. I'm looking forward to the um, Heavy Star Mines missiles being a thing. I see this is the only thing we've gotten is Teleth Surveyors. And these are the small ones, right? Yeah, just these guys. They don't progress the arc in any way. They just give us their, like, freeze Arbite. Let's see how much Arbite we have. Uh, when we see ethereals, basically. Hold on, how much starbite do I have? 111, I have 170. I don't think I need more starbite. So, how many starbite... Blasters do I have? The only other thing that I can get out of here. Uh, blast a rifle. Blast a power clip. I could use more ammo for that, actually. So we'll do that. Oh, man. That was a tough mission. That was a really hard mission. I, I enjoyed that a lot. I still remember that mission. I really just want a full set of... <laughs> good work. Good work, Tank. That's uh, a good set of um, rifles. A full contingent of rifles. Small launchers and rifles are going to be our thing. 24. That works. Oh, stop. Damn it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Wow, that worked really well versus that shield. <laughs> it worked really well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, facing the uh, super ethereals first off would be terrifying. And up. There you go. Nice and fast. So remember, you cannot destroy the ion beam acceleration by shooting it down, so no need to let those land. Hey, <laughs> Sir Dylan, how's it going? Moody is still alive. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, no. Nope. I have decided I'm only going to do croc raids. I think it's my only chance of getting real weapons. They're flying subs. Yeah.
I don't care. I finished that arc, man. <laughs> finished that arc. Can I just do this? You know what? Let's take a peek. No, you know what? I really don't care. We have abandoned Dimension X. It's probably spawning because we finished it this month, didn't we? Let's just see what's here. Oh. It's actually something that I would enjoy fighting for the weapons. Alright, dear. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. The heavy disruptors would be useful. But, don't care. They're not useful enough to be worth it. Hey, we finished it this month. So, this was already in the mission. Alright, we're gonna finish the month and I gotta run. I don't believe that for one second. The Martian Solution. Our research now points to Mars as the base of alien operations. The base is well hidden and contains all the manufacturing and cloning facilities to fuel the infiltration of Earth. It also seems to contain a controlling computer of some kind that controls the whole operation. It seems that the hive-like alien society has some kind of queen bee. This is their fundamental weakness. If we can eliminate the brain, then the body will die. We must step up our research efforts before it is too late. In order to progress, we must capture... The highest ranking aliens, the commanders, which only reside in alien bases and battleships. It'll be like five minutes. If that. Alright, 10,000 points, ignoring so much junk. Only up 4 million? How many are we done with? Funding. All right, done with the UK. Done with India. So we have Japan, Spain, Italy, and Russia left. It's kind of piracy, but yeah, yeah, just sort of thrown in there after you do the uh, the down battleship in Dimension X. <laughs> I know. All right, end the stream. And the stream. All right, guys. Happy 2001. Remember, the last time we saw a Teleth mission, ARC mission, was in November. So let's see what we get this month. Let's roll the dice. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all uh, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Oh, I am actually uh, have both kids with me all week because it's spring break. So uh, send help. Thank you. Adios. If you're still here, I want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or click the like and subscribe button.